thing too i i already love and appreciate like me and my dogs are so in love with each other but even just looking at their faces especially after our session yeah that like connected me to them it's like the closest thing to giving birth <laughs> as you possibly can feel for something right because they're my kids and people laugh at me because they'll say how old is prince and i'll go oh i gave birth to him in january and it's, it's a joke but the point is that's how close i, I feel that. connected to yeah. them as if i gave birth to them yeah um but even now there's like a new found sense of appreciation for them even the difference in their personalities um like how you got to tap into prince and you see how crazy he is i'm still going with the flow on that but i appreciate the differences in their personalities like just the smallest little things i feel like i understand him now yeah. now i see that what he needs from me you know and i know that a lot of those behaviors they won't last forever but now it helped me to tap more into what he needs it's not just about me it's yeah. about them too yeah he's really I, curious that's like the most thing i had to just like, put him I, in the plane and they won't let us talk <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I know I've talked about you guys. I'm like, I, you know, worked on, on, um, the sweetest lady and, and, and her two dogs in Florida and people were like, oh my gosh. And I, I was like, yeah, when he talks about how naughty he is about what he needs, he doesn't care. And he does it. It was just so cute how he showed me that. <laughs> um, he was like, I'm like, all right, let me tap in with him. I start feeling his body and I just feel kind of like, you know, here and there, not like it was with, with, uh, Richard. with Richard now, yeah. and um, and then he just like cut me off. Like I'll stop you right there and just tell you how it is. I <laughs> it in my mouth, and I don't care about the consequences. And sometimes when I shit, it looks like this. And then he showed me himself like pooping. Yeah. And then he's like, it's like you know, <laughs> wax crayons or something, and like some other. Oh my gosh! I caught him trying to eat poop the other day. And I go, what are you doing? You just ate dinner. What are you doing? And then I thought about you. I thought about everything. And I'm like, I won't even yell at him. I'll just pick yeah. up the pad, we'll <laughs> hold it, and we'll throw it in the trash. There's probably something in there he just, like, needed to check out again. And we'll just act like that. Well, I fed them um, carrots for snack, and I think he was just, like, wanted the carrots back. Yeah, he's really weird. <laughs> Friends, no. It's okay. <laughs> but, yeah, he's whining yeah, right he's now. He wants to come out. He's like... <laughs> He's a, I will, I will discover what this is with my mouth and my stomach. And I don't care. Like he was literally like, sometimes I get a stomach ache, but I really don't care. And I can tell because I have to give him some little herbal medicine for that. So I know he does. He does. <laughs> He's just kind of like, I know that if I didn't do this, that wouldn't happen, but I can't help myself. Yeah. He yeah. really can't. So you I know that now though. Should, like cannot keep, like if you walk him, like she's the same way if I, my eyeballs are not on her and she comes across like a chicken bone or a piece of you know who knows what disgusting thing she's like chewing on it to taste i'm like are you ew and then i see, like the best thing they're like i don't like it and i'm like how does this make sense <laughs> i would ask myself that all the time like why does he do that why do you want to eat this what is wrong with him but just tapping into him now, I, I literally laugh at him because he's so hilarious to me. He's funny. just, that's my barbarian child. I accept it for yeah, what it is. I love it. So different. They're so different. Like, Very we'll much just, so. We'll tell the viewers that she she has um, King Richard and he's had seizures and she was mm -hmm. pretty sure that somebody she lived with may have hurt him and, and not sure exactly, been to different specialists and all sorts of stuff. And yeah. so you going in that, that he had this, even though he hasn't had a seizure in a long, in, since February, it's been a while, Yeah. Um, that there was, you know, in there. so I just kind of scanned his body and then when I got it, well, I didn't even, it really didn't take long because they were right next to you during your healing. So it was really yeah. easy for me to just get right in there. <clears throat> and as soon as I did, I felt just this pain on this whole side of my head, my ears and my eye. And it was really bad and basically yeah. I was like that's basically like a migraine is what i was like they're like the his guides they're telling me yeah he gets that's what happens he gets this migraine thing and he gets really sensitive to yeah to his noise and light and even food he won't even chew he, he doesn't want to chew and his eye will do this really weird it barely open. it hurts really bad it's like yeah. if you, i'm sure you've got a migraine that's what it feels like yeah but see now, since I found out what that was, and 
it's so hard to like what it felt like to me was just this like I don't even know like this gray okay I'm gonna try my best to describe visually what it looked like to me and how it what I was working with visually in my head well I was like okay it's I'm like we'll just go slow and this, it's not like digging in super hard because he, was, he did start whining when I started removing it. Yeah. Um, and so I was like, okay, I need to go slower because it would, it felt like something like he has a tiny little head. So I'm yeah. going to work big. I'm going to work bigger. Okay. And he but, has an open fun towel too. So that might be part of the reason why like he well, has it yeah it could be more it could have been more susceptible but it felt like this piece of meat on oh. top of his head or his brain like oh, to it. baby and like when i went to you know remove it it's kind of like how you would almost imagine when you're removing if you've ever removed meat from a bone and how it's like you know what i'm talking about yeah like that kind of like yeah. like it'll come but it's really stuck on there yeah and that's what it felt like to me so i just so instead of me just kind of like easily pulling it off it doesn't work that way like i had to just like very slowly just little like millimeter by millimeter by millimeter just work because it, it and then like it it did eventually let go and then he was it was gone and yeah yeah he was way better after that and um yeah, that was like really the only problem that, that he had, but he was just a major problem. Like I, so I think that like from this point forward, I, he may, he may be more susceptible because he is open in there that, you know, if you, so now you'll know if that starts happening, what needs to happen, you know? Um, but because, but I think that there was an actual thing and it became worse and worse and worse and certain things may trigger it. It could be atmospheric. It could be somebody's energy. It could be you know it's like sometimes i definitely like, know he picks up on energy oh I know yeah absolutely sure. absolutely he it's yeah. he is definitely way more energetically sensitive than prince yeah but i also believe um i i lost i was five months pregnant with a baby boy when i was 20 and i lost him i was surgically induced and a strong part of me believes he was reincarnated in in richard just that connection we have is so special. It's so special. And when he has those seizures, um, he looks right at me like, mom, like, please help me. Like, I please yeah. like make this go away. And yeah. you just, that's so heartbreaking to yeah. see that. But he's also so brave. He fights. I've had neurologists, veterinarians tell me, just put him down. And Richard looks at me like, eh, put me down. I'm not ready to go yet. We can, we can figure this out, but don't put me down. And I'm like telling him I would never. Putting you down would be the very last option. And that would only be when your, your spirit tribe, his guides, and he felt like that was absolutely necessary if he was suffering. But we wouldn't call that suffering. Look at him now. He's the happiest dog ever. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the happiest dog ever, and he he spit up just a little bit on um, the day after he spit up like yellow fluid, and I was concerned because I'm like, oh, like, these are starting points of his like, seizure, like bile. So be fine, yeah, just like a little bile. Yeah. But yeah. usually in the past, that would be the beginning stages uh, of the seizure. He would throw up like that. He wouldn't eat a few days following. His poop would be weird, and then a random day he has a seizure. So I got worried. And then within five minutes, he drank water and he was on about his business. And now him and Prince are like crazily energetic. Like they already kind of were, but they're like very energetic now. Like, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. overwhelming. <laughs> but so are you. So you guys are kind of like, and that's why we're I'm feeding like, off of each other. Yeah. I'm like, it would be so good if we could just do, that's why I said, you know, we should just do, if we're going to do you. And then you told me about him. I'm like, we should just do all three of you at the same time. Yeah you all you know nice and good and there there was energy definitely attached to prince he he it was good for him to get clear because those little pockets will just fester and attract more and because right. he's a naughty little boy pick eating whatever he can naughty, get his mouth on then you know he's <laughs> kind of susceptible to that and don't forget i told you about the the spray well okay so you said um rose hip oil no um rose uh, rose so just rose oil. Yeah. Rose essential and, oil. 
and then um, Himalayan rock salt. Okay. Uh, and spring water. If you wanted to add something else in there, like lavender, you could do that with the rose. But the rose definitely, because it's the highest vibrational um, flower and, and you know flower essence. Okay. You know, and and I'll just make that little tincture and then spray it on us. Like just spray it on them. Okay. Get, get like here. I'll show you. Get like a water bottle. I love these glass bottles. I got these. Me on too. Amazon. Love that. Um. Oh, that was in perfect. front of the wrong camera. He, and so just fill it up with spring water. Do like a like a handful of rock salt and just leave your rock salt in there. And mm -hmm. you know, just a few drops. Okay. You wanna know you wanna when you spray it, you wanna smell rose. Okay, perfect. Just not overwhelmingly, but enough to where you know that it's in there and just spray it over you and over the dogs and on their little paws. You don't have to get them soaked, but just enough, because that's where they're, you know, they're, they're grounding, okay. which is great, but they also can be picking up energies too, and our animals are really susceptible to energy. Right. So, okay, that's great. That's great. Um,